how's everybody doing today? This is Sarah Ayler from softflexcompany.com. I've got my buddy Kristen Fagan here as my backup woman. And uh, we are going to be opening the rainy day design kit today. It is gorgeous. I can't wait for you guys to check it out. We have plenty of them left in our shop at softflexcompany.com. If you want to grab one, do it. Um, and look, as you're doing it, you're going to be able to enter a $50 shopping spree, uh, giveaway. We're going to give away five $50 online store credits and you get entries based on how much your order is that you place between now and I believe next Tuesday. So if your order is over $50, you get one entry. If your order is over $75, you get two entries. And if you're over $100, you get three entries. And if you order more than once, you get those entries again. So if you put a $50 order in today and then you do one on Saturday, you're going to get two entries. If you do a $100 order today and a $100 order on Saturday, you're going to get six entries, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Let's see here. Did you get yeah, that hand cannon, so we... Miss Kristen? I did. There it I'm is. Here. Hooray. <laughs> Yay. How are you today, Chris? Yeah, I'm all right. It's our Wednesday. It's a busy, busy day. But um, it is a busy day. there wasn't anything that was uh, too difficult to get through today. So <laughs> sweet. Now you just get to bead, which is now I get to bead. Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> it's so good to see your face and hear your little giggle. Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> great to see your face, too. It was so nice to see you join our friend Sam and a bunch of other beady friends on Friday. I know you missed uh, getting together with everyone and being able to do those kinds of things. Um, I know. Yeah. It was fun. I made the cutest necklace. <clears throat> if you missed it, um, Sam's bead shop had an anniversary party and they invited me to go and it was so fun. And I made this adorable necklace using some parts from uh, their bead box and then some parts that I had in my own stash, like this little Green Girl Studio uh, unicorn and these Tierra Cast moon parts. Oh, I was they just, all worked out so well together. I know. I was just feeling totally in, in magical driven um, yeah. that day. I it was nice. Work. Part from my life and go into like the clouds with unicorns and moons and rainbows. Right. <laughs> you must have been channeling like your prequel to the uh, rainy day kit. Totally. I know. I thought it was funny when I opened it and I saw the cloud. I was like, oh, this plays so perfectly with our rainy day design kit. Um, I didn't say that because it was supposed to all be all about Sam that day, but I was right. thinking that for sure. <laughs> Melissa's pointing out it is a rainy day here in California, um, so it is kind of perfect. It's um, it's been we nice spoke with the weather. We spoke with the weather people, and we said, <laughs> "Hey, listen." <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, we um, my kids and I made tea this morning and we put it in snowman cups because we're like, we don't Aww. know how much longer you get like that winter vibe, you know, mm -hmm. so we um, we enjoyed that. So this morning, Kristen, I went out to my garage because we're having that refrigerator delivered for the right. garage and I p looked on this shelving unit. There were some seeds like flower seeds in a bag and I picked it up and there was a mouse poop underneath it. <gasps> and I know it was wiped clean. No, I know it was wiped clean. So I know there's still at least one mouse somewhere in that garage. And I just about stamped my feet and threw myself on the ground to throw a fit. <laughs> oh, I lost you on my sound somehow. Hold on. Oh, a okay. Well, everyone else can hear me. Out. I we I have the garage completely and totally cleaned out, you guys. I had it bleach mopped and bleach wiped down everywhere, and reorganized, and and paid. You know, some friends helped me pay for it, but paid for that service, and had a bunch of stuff hauled away that the mouse had ruined, right. and there's still 
and and the pest guy blocked off what he thought were any holes. We had empty traps. Oh it's no. So I That's mean, really it's, awful. It's so annoying. So the pest guy will be back out, obviously, but I'm so frustrated. So I'm like, I feel like I just dealt with all that and I thought we were good. But it was all done. Yeah. And then I had the maids come on Monday. The you guys, the presenters of the great beat extravaganza chipped in together and got me a maid service. We did. It was really, it was, it was really sweet that everyone wanted to uh, it was chip in. in. <laughs> Amazing. It was really, really lovely. So we had the maids out too. And I was like feeling so good. I'm like, the only thing that's not clean is my car. Like that really needs some work, but the house is clean. The garage is clean. And then I was like, oh, oh no, no, it's still going on. Anyway, I'll keep working at it. It's okay. Well, at least at this point, you know, there's a very short period of time between when he was there and now and not much damage hopefully can get done. And yeah. I hope they can kind of work it out. Um versus like the unknown you didn't, not knowing what's you know got issues and what didn't and yeah needless Ugh. to say there's not going to be like a mouse design kit coming up because <laughs> i'm so traumatized <laughs> but if you're looking forward to that don't plan on it um mm. a big thank you to all of the presenters at the great beat extravaganza it was a very touching gift because I am so busy and having my house clean is something I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, even though the kids mess it up quickly, it still feels nice to know that the underneath parts are still kind of clean. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's just something for like a nice, good cleaning that even though surface areas get messy again, you know that it got a good, a got yeah. a good clean through. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're welcome. We were also happy to do that for you. And um, yeah, it was really a nice gesture that someone, you know, suggested and it just steamrolled and everyone got together and uh, chipped in. And I hope you'll be able to use the surface service more than once. Um, yeah, we'll I think probably twice. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So that'll be really helpful. So in another month or two, when I've had it again, I will <laughs> call them <laughs> Sarah needs a barn cat. <laughs> I might get a cat to live in the garage, honestly. If it continues, honestly, oh. there may be a kitten living in my garage before oh, I Oh, they, they don't like the smell of mint. Oh, you should probably plant some mint <laughs> around, mm. the, around the garage. Everywhere. My whole yard. <laughs> so this is saying, take, uh, Clem is saying, spray out isopropyl alcohol with mint oil along the baseboards and everywhere. They hate it. Mm. Oh. Okay. I'm going to work on that. Yep. <laughs> so annoying. They're just such pests. Like literally. Literally. They're pests. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry yeah. to hear that. Oh, that's such a bummer to, to be like, oh, now what do we got to do? Have someone out again. Just go away. Although Thomas down? did say he would take scorpions over mice, I guess. I don't know. I mean, at least scorpions don't ruin things. Like mice really ruin things. Like they, they don't. No. Really mess things up. I guess quickly. that's true. Scorpions are just like a. And then they procreate quickly, you know? Mm. Like you have one, then you have a bunch. Play problem. Tom and Jerry over and over. Let them know you mean business. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> I'm going to get a mallet and go out there. <laughs> or an anvil. I know. Pop it off my roof on them. <laughs> Although I will say that little Jerry, I think, be, you know, beats the cat every time. So Tom mm. is not. <laughs> no, not the best. That's not the no. best message. They might, they might watch it and go, yeah, yeah, we got this. <laughs> we did mint and Irish Springs soap and they loved it. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh no. no, said Cherry. Oh, no. No oh, way. <laughs> anyway, Just... let's open this rainy day kit and, <laughs> and see what's inside it. Um Scorpions we just haunt your nightmares. Oh, go ahead. Scorpions uh, just haunt your nightmares. That's true. <laughs> 
and they hurt if they get you. Um, I have plenty of scorpion stories too, but yeah, there that's a whole different ball of wax. Right. Um, so we did decide to postpone the live sale for tomorrow because we are getting our internet upgraded at Softlux Company on Friday. And so we wanted to get that set aside and taken care of and then do a little testing next Tuesday. And then hopefully we'll be back in business a week for tomorrow uh, to do live sales and not have to do them in pantomime fashion. Um, <laughs> so that's the goal, at least. We'll see um, how it all goes. And I think Rosa has been working on the orders that you guys already placed at the last live sale. Thank you for those orders and testing it out. Um, I, we're learning as we go. So we will get better and better. And I know all of you will get better and better too, the more you're using comments sold. Make sure in our email, we have been making a list of to do's in order to shop at the live sale. Make sure you pay attention to that list. Get yourself registered in the right place, depending on where you're going to shop and be prepared to go. You've got eight days till the next live sale. And that way, uh, you'll have everything ready to go on your end to be able to shop with us. Does that sound right, Kristen? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So this is the rainy day uh, design kit. This is our monthly kit. We do one every month with a different theme. And we try to put everything in our kit that you will need to make jewelry. That includes wire. That includes findings. It includes seeds. Um, all sorts of stuff. So let's start off with the wire. This is our soft wax uh, beading wire. It's a 0.019 medium diameter, which is our all-purpose diameter. And we have it in a beautiful tanzanite color this time. Um, we uh, exploded the bank and got you a big bag of crystals from our friend over at Stars uh, Beads um, and Bedoria. So this was something we picked up from Kay. It's a special mix just for us to go in our rainy day design kit. And it's got some real beauties in it. Some clear drops and then some blues and grays. And I know you're going to love that as well. So that is in the kit. We've got this gorgeous strand of check glass beads uh, that I just can't get over. It's got just like a little bit of a flash on it. And each one is kind of unique and special. They're um, a really pretty color, too. I feel like this is going to go so with that tanzanite just so beautifully. I love how it the tanzanite is like pulls out that lighter blue color in that strand. This, these remind me of like a puddle when the light hits it. That's what I think is um, making me really enjoy those. We put in these uh, flat oval shapes, and they are faceted flat on both sides. Really, really pretty. And we've got some little rondell spacers in just kind of a light lavender color. I'll be able to mix in with those other colors so beautifully. Um, we have, of course, our... Uh, bead mix from Jesse James Beads. They do a custom bead mix for us for every single kit that we do. And uh, you can't get it anywhere but from Softlux Company. And you will find it inside this kit. And look at how gorge this is. It's got some nice big crystals in two different colors and shapes. It's got, I love these. I don't think I've seen these before. The purple spacers. Oh, that's pretty. Purple metallic. We've got some nice little silver spacers in there as well. Look at nice sparkly little bead. This is a big hole too, so you could use it on your silver silk or leather cord. Really pretty round piece. All sorts of goodies in there. Ooh, I'm liking the, it's turquoise. Pretty. And there's even some cubes. So you get a lot jammed packed inside and in, in, into that Jesse James And then I'm not even done yet, you guys. 
Oh, there's a lot of beads in this kit. Holy I know. Holy. We went a little overboard. Did we need this many beads? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the turquoise and the purple and the dark blue is so pretty. How pretty those are. I'm going to put those over here. And then we've got our findings. And we have some special little pieces in here. We threw in some little umbrellas. So cute. And then some little clouds, which are adorable. And then you've got your basic findings, some ear wires, some lobster cloths, and some uh, matching two by two millimeter softlex crimp tubes. Now, being that these are softlex crimp tubes, they are very thick, very strong, and um, really lovely to use. So typically, if you are brand new to beading, you've never done this before, all you are going to need is a pair of crimping pliers and cutters. And then you may want to grab a few extra basic clasps and ear wires. And that's going to allow you to make a ton of jewelry with this one rainy day design kit. Or you could grab our brand new exotic blooms design kit, um, which just popped on the shelves today. This has a very beautiful big spring vibe to it. And our tree of life design kit, which we're gonna be using at the Great Heat Extravaganza coming up, uh, I think it's the third weekend in April, um, coming up very quickly. Make oh, that is so pretty, pretty looking. You, um, Okay, so I'm looking at these beads and like we usually do a mix from K occasionally instead of the Jesse James mix. Like that sometimes uh -huh. happens when we do um, a specialty kit outside of our normal. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm very intrigued as to how we ended up with both of those in I here because there is a lot and then of we beads. Added even more beads. So I wonder what happened because I remember yeah. I think we added the purple and the blue because we felt like there wasn't enough beads. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. This wasn't in that picture. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't, I think you might be right. I'm going to tell you something. I think you might be right. And we didn't realize <laughs> there were all those crystals. Yes. Oh my God. Um, I think that from what I recall is that we thought we were putting these crystals online for sale, but not in the kit. So this is like a bonus kit. I mean, this is. Look at all those. I know. Becky says having more beads in this kit is not a problem that needs fixing. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on which side you're sitting on, Becky. But yeah, I'm like, so I'm dumbfounded with the amount of beads in this kit. <laughs> Look at how many crystals there are, you guys. So there are some of these kits left. Grab one. I mean, oh this is gosh. like a. Bang for your buck kit. I mean, Man. Maybe it's a bead strand you can get to go with it. Too. <laughs> and the bead it's strand, perfect. I really had fun making some catchers with the bead strand. If um if you guys missed that, you could check out check out the YouTube video for that. It's um, very but it was really fun I with that big, big, big crystal. I know this is a huge crystal. So many. Dana says she's that they appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think I might use this crystal today. Yeah. From the bead strand. Oh, you can make a super crystally design with that strand with those crystals. Rules. I'm gonna go super sparkle. <laughs> you are breaking your rules. You're designing outside of the kit contents. What are I you know. doing, Sarah? I always try to only use the kit contents, but you know, when the mood strikes. I know. I hope all of you buy this bead strand too, and then you'll be able to make with it as well. Oh my gosh, there's so many beads. <laughs> I think I needed more beads too. I'm like, I need this bead strand too, in addition to the thousands of beads that are already in this kit. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you all, we really did. We really did go like, oh, we don't have enough beads. Let's let's find some more beads, and um, we did. <laughs> Now I'm looking at it. <laughs> so many. Like, I don't think she did. She not have the crystals in the picture. I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let me look at um. 
Let me look at this. How beautiful is that? No, we do have it listed, the blue crystal mix on the contents. So, it's so pretty. We must have known. <laughs> I can use it this way, like straight up and down, or I could use it this way. Ooh, ah. So Let's pretty. See. I'm thinking about doing our um, joyful beading prompt for today, which is, oh, is a multi-strand bracelet. Oh, so I love that. I'm thinking about doing that. Oh, you're going intense. I know. I don't know what's gotten into me this week. It's been an intense beading week. Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> when the need calls... I guess, yeah. Um, so if you do it this way, you just bring the wire down here. Oh and my I gosh. Might, I think I might try that. What will I use though? Oh, maybe all of these beautiful crystals. <laughs> Clem is saying the purple and white stone beads look like the oh, seeds called. Jobs Tears. Interesting. He's so awesome. I think that's what he's talking about, what they're talking about. Yeah. Hmm. That's the one I was thinking when um mm -hmm. when I read it. So what's new with you? What was that? What's new with you? Oh, okay. what's new with me? Um, There's a lot of art online for sale. Oh yeah, that's been a big journey. So I always, um, oh I don't God. always, but I like to do 100, the 100 day project and I've done it the last couple of years mm -hmm. and it kind of snuck up on me this year. And I was like, mm, do I have it in me to do something? Mm -hmm. And then I, especially cause I've, I was kind of coming off of like a creative like burnout at the end of the year and I needed, mm -hmm. I took some time off. And so I was like, oh, there are some things I could do that might jumpstart my creativity. And then I just started looking around my studio and I was like, I have a lot of artwork for sale. Mm -hmm. And I no longer have like, um, I used to have my art in a coffee shop, which that's no longer there. And I haven't mm -hmm. had an actual online shop in years. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? Let me count. I walked around my house <laughs> and my studio and I got up to like 90 things. And so wow. I went, oh my gosh, maybe I'll do a hundred days of paintings for sale. And so oh. each week I've been loading up 10 more items onto my Etsy shop that I sort of reinvigorated. And mm -hmm. I've been sharing a, a painting a day on my Instagram and on my Facebook um, so if anyone has been ever interested in collecting any of my art that you see behind me, I am slowly posting it all for sale. <laughs> do you find it inspiring to do like a big clean out like that? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And actually I've even like, I've cut some pieces up. I've taken stuff off, off stretcher bars. Um, and I might even destroy some more things. So. Oh. <laughs> Wow. I, I am. Huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. So I'm up to day 30. And so I've shown 30 things so far. And uh, yeah, it's been really fun. Sounds fun. I noticed there's just so many beautiful things. So I hope you guys will go check it out because Kristen's got a lot of stuff stocked up that's really gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, I don't it's know what been, I'm making, but I'm I'm making something. I um, it's been fun to show it again and have people ooh and ah over it. So if, even if you can't purchase one, if you could like it or share it or heart it or comment, all of those things mm -hmm. are helpful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make you feel good. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Thomas just popped in my my Etsy shop. Thank you. It was kind of sweet. I had one friend reach out and she purchased one of my bigger paintings before I even listed it. 
and she said that she actually bought a phone case of it a few years ago because I do have mm -hmm. some phone cases and like other mm -hmm. kind of random products available. And she started teaching again. She hadn't been in the workforce in a while. And every time she was overwhelmed, she would just look at her phone case and look at my art and it would oh. calm her down. Isn't that so sweet? That's so so sweet. she, as soon as I started posting things, she reached out and she's like, I want this one. <laughs> oh. And I was like, thank you for sharing that story. That is so that nice. Is so nice. And that kind of gave me a little, a little oomph too. I was like, oh, it's important to share this kind of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. get it out in the world, out of my studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it makes space for new stuff. It does. Nice. You know, just like jewelry making, right? Do you guys all feel that too? Like you feel like yeah. you like to give gifts and give things away and kind yeah. of share it, sell it, whatever, to kind of make space for new ideas. Yes, I do. That's why I like doing the birthday giveaway usually because I can get some of the stuff out of here. Yeah. You know, I'm like I love making jewelry, but and I have a lot of jewelry I keep and wear, obviously, but it's nice to nice to clear out, make space. And That's I love working on um I think what's a pendant, I think. I don't know for sure, but I, I think it's a pendant. And um, I'm thinking about closing it off on these crimps. I'm trying to decide how I feel about it being more square shaped than round. Because <sighs> these are round, I might not like it as much. Let me see if I put two more crystals on both. If it rounds it out a little bit. That was looking really neat. Thanks. Doing kind of a um, color blocking situation here. I probably could have gone dark to light, but I didn't. I just went for it. But if you are doing it, you might want to try dark to light, like doing the darkest color at the top, lightest color at the bottom, or vice versa. Um, could be kind of cool. Part of doing these lives and not planning it out is, you know, like I'm just making on the fly. And right. then you guys can adapt what I make if you want to make something similar and uh, change it up a little bit. Okay. This is going to be a huge necklace, though. <laughs> This is going to be another one of those. What is she wearing? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be one of those. Um, we're at a homeschool meetup. What do you have on? I'm wearing my yoga pants and, you know, whatever. Why do you have this gigantic crystal necklace on? <laughs> How do you tell someone you make jewelry without telling them you make jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. That's funny. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I put a crimp on either side to just make it even. Um, and it's not necessary by any means, but it just makes it symmetrical. And I'm just going to come in on one end, and then I'm just going to kind of tug on the wire both directions. If you have trouble with this, use a bead stopper. I'm just going to do my best. And I, I have a bead stopper right here. So let's just do that so I don't drive myself to bonkas. You want a little give because you got to get that plier in between, you know, but you don't want it to be all wire, no beads. Okay, so get your center of that crimp tube. It's a two by two millimeter crimp tube from the kit. You should get what looks like a little four corner ravioli the first time, then you spin and go in the other way. Did we get these restocked, these magical crimpers? Mm, good question. Thomas, will you take a look and see if, if they are restocked? Will you check the choice that they got ordered, Thomas? Because I know there's been at least one customer who's emailed me and asked about it. 
and uh, has been looking for them. I'm very behind in my email, but I do skim everything. <laughs> just to see, just to see if there's behind. something. Yeah. yeah. And then I keep in my brain, when you talk to Joyce, ask her about magical crimping fires. All right, there we go. That's going to be the bottom pendant. I think. And, uh, <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Really now, fun. Build up the top. So usually if I do something this big, I make it um go to my face camera here. I would make it long, but I wonder what it would be like if it were a shorter necklace. Might be kind of fun. Yeah. Like nice I've been playing a lot with shorter necklaces lately. Have you? Let's go to your table and see what you're doing. Hmm, not, not a whole lot just yet. I've just been kind oh. of crimping. Um, I'm almost done with my necklace. What's going on well, over there? I, I, I'm busy crimping. <laughs> what are you crimping? Are I'm you crimping all of these strands of tanzanite to the one of the clouds. And I'm going to use that as my bracelet connector um, on either side for mm -hmm. doing something multi-strand. So, oh, <clears throat> yeah. So I just finished crimping four strands and now I was playing with um, what beads I'm going to put on here. And I'm just starting at the top with a little bit of everything to see how they lay. I'm just going for the gold on this necklace. I'm going to use up. Oh, that's kind of fun. All the <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, whoa. <laughs> I really love these. And I think I want to put these in there somewhere. But I feel like mm -hmm. the needs to be, they need to be a little bit more into the center of the piece. So I guess I'll cut those free. It's sometimes hard to like, cut strands don't you guys think like i'm like oh do i really am i going to use them if i'm not i don't want to cut it but yeah i think it's maria telling me that she's has every one of the bead strands that goes with the kit except for two like all still together and nice. um i know i was like are you creating like a a gallery like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> she, just, she just thinks they're so beautiful. She couldn't bring she cut them up. Yeah, it's hard to cut them up. I so how nice. about you guys out there? Do you cut them up or do you hold on to them just as they are, just to enjoy their beauty? I was like so fascinated. And then I got to find out which ones you don't have, Maria. I wish I knew that before I sent a bunch of beach strands back to the office. I would have given you one if it was one I had because I feel like <laughs> You need them all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, um, that's right, Scott. Just keep crimping. Just keep crimping. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because I was using needle and thread on Monday. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That was hilarious. That's unlike you. What were you? Yeah, it really was. Super unlike you. Oh, man. And I proved that. <laughs> <laughs> but you thinking exactly. I did learn how to use this little bad boy afterwards. I learned it today. So maybe on a future oh. video. I will oh, show you just read the needle live, did you? I did. And I was like, no. it was, I was sweating. I was sweating. No, and no, no. You never thread the needle live. Okay, the funniest thing too was that everyone was like, use a needle threader. And I'm like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't it have that. And they're like, it came in this. It was, they're like, it's right there in your package. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
And I was like, oh, I don't know what that is. So yeah, I did figure it out and it works really, really well. And I wish I would have known how to use that before I went live and tried to thread the yeah. needle in front of everybody. <laughs> I wish you had known that too. <laughs> oh, if you I guys like a- Them wished that you had known that. <laughs> I know. I was like, if you like a bloopers reel, that's your video. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, no. I have talked about doing blooper reels, like, at the end of the year. It would be fun. Oh, my gosh. That we would be fun. So many silly things happen. Like, there could be a whole montage of just Joyce miming from last week. <laughs> For <Easily. real. laughs> <Poor Joyce. laughs> Ooh, I wonder, like, should I, like, try and bunch these together or just let them be free what should i do hmm. we have this big old bead here let me see what it looks like if i try oh maybe even i could even use these Everyone was so, so sweet to me and very encouraging and we made it through. And honestly, I was, I was joking, not joking, not joking, but I was like, if you all weren't there, I don't know that I would have finished that project. I think I would have just been like, <laughs> uh, not happening. Yeah. That's funny. Hey, what do we think of I this? just see those after pictures and I thought it looked great. Yeah, the after was good. <laughs> and then you had to like go through all that torture to get to the after. It was nice to see, you know, I'm sure like me in a beginner's mind, it was something I'm not comfortable doing. And yeah. I did it for all of you on camera. Yeah. <laughs> I had to try. Oops. Oh, it's all of us. Here, I'll go back to where I'm at here. Sounds so good. I'm just beading. I just took a piece of soft wax with a tanzanite color that came in the kit. And I just strung a new fresh piece through this big crystal. And now I am just beading up the two sides. Um, and it's looking pretty, pretty sparkly. I am pretty pleased with myself, uh, to say the least. It is going to be a sparkle-tastic design for sure um i'm loving it yeah it's really pretty you're gonna show those mice who's boss with your big crystal shield <laughs> not mess with me i've got crystals i'm gonna take this off and look <laughs> you i just couldn't believe it when i saw it i was like oh I thought I was done with you. <laughs> that is very disappointing. So hard. And the mice have just been terrible this year in Venetia. Um, I mean, I see like posts in the mom mom's group one day where she said that the mice were like overrunning a park. Like it looked like the field was moving. There were so oh many. Oh my gosh. Mice. I was like, I will not be going to that park. <laughs> <laughs> There's no mice are coming home with me. I don't have any room for anybody else. <laughs> no, <laughs> you are not welcome. You are not welcome here. I wonder what's going on. I do remember there was a time um, in my childhood home where we had some issues, but we lived in front of a water tower and they were doing some digging and some like mm -hmm. stuff going on. So mm -hmm. that sort of made them scurry away and end up in our homes. Mm. So I wonder, I wonder what's happening I think by it's you. Wet season. Mm. It's just been so wet um, for two years now and we didn't go through like a, a hot dry season last winter really um, or last over the summer. So I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I have a feeling it's just, there was no adversity, you know, and like they just, given the opportunity. Right, very opportunistic of them. <laughs> yeah, so, so. 
All right. I think this is coming together nicely. I don't have any rhyme or reason what I'm putting on it. I'm just kind of letting my brain flow with like what I feel like doing. Um, this is what I'm looking at in my crystals. I still have a ton of them left. I haven't used any of those teardrops. Um, and I have a lot of that beautiful turquoise color and some of the light grays as well. Um, I haven't even touched these yet. And then I've been kind of picking up the Jesse James beads as I'm going. Um, picking out a bead here or there to add and see how it looks. I think that one's a little too green, but maybe one of these cubes will work. It is a perfect little rainy day here in Northern California for this. We had some rain yesterday, so it was kind of like, cool. yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, that's always nice in Arizona. Anytime you get rain, it's like, yes, so exciting. I'm trying to decide, do I want to keep beating? Up the back, or do I want to finish it off? Let's go to you while I think on it. Sure. I decided that I wasn't really feeling the big um, bead with the scrunching it around, and I liked the the airiness of keeping the strands separate. So I decided that to kind of fun. Right? It's very fun. I love how you're using those clouds as like a multi-strand connector. I didn't think of them in that way. I don't know that I would have if I didn't look at the joyful beading prompt for today and see. Because right. it kind of was in my head like, oh, multi-strand is the prompt. Maybe I'll do that. I haven't done one like that in a while. And when so you're looking for a little inspiration to have that little calendar to get you going. Totally. Yeah. So it kind of put that in my head when we opened it and I saw them. I went, ah, oh, those might work. I decided to tailor back a little bit. I feel like sometimes it's good to know when to say enough is enough. You've got plenty of crystals on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you need you can slow down on that sparkle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if people would be in agreement with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? I used to watch Project Runway and Tim Gunn would always be like, edit, edit, edit. It um, is true. The editing part is the hardest. Hard to edit. Yeah. And it's hard anytime you're making any kind of art to know when to stop. You know, like. Oh, is that enough? I know you must have that problem when you're painting. I go too far <laughs> all the time. Photo. All the time. Um, I don't know if it's a good practice or not, but I do tend to take pictures of my progress. Mm -hmm. And then there's so many times like I feel like, oh, I went too far. And I look back and I'm like, oh, three pictures ago is when I it's should have stopped. <laughs> Now I got to figure out how to get back to three pictures ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so in some ways it's torturous to take those pictures because then I'm like trying to get back there. And you but can't really get back fully, right? Like, No, you can never get back fully. No, you can kind of, <laughs> it's never the same. Oh my gosh. Bert's heard it so many times. Um, Poor Bert. And I, I think... I realize I'm, I've always been such a night owl, but I've realized that I just, good things don't really come out of me in the evening anymore. And really, yeah. Like in terms of painting, like if I am, First if I'm in the you drive at night, now you can't paint at night. I know. I just got to go to bed at six oh. o'clock, I guess. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> my day is done. Well, it depends on the level of where I'm at, because if I am in the beginning stages where nothing, it's all, hold, you know, there's nothing holding back and you're just kind of going with it. That's fine in the evening. But mm -hmm. if I'm trying to finish a painting and like mm -hmm. make really good decisions, um, 
Yeah, I should probably not do that too late. And I mean, like, midnight late, you know, because oh, I, I, I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm so inspired. But then I wake up the next day and I'm like, what did I do? What did I do? That phrase, like, in the light of day, you know? Probably where it yeah. comes from things we do at night that we think are so smart and then we're like oh not so much yeah <laughs> oh man well the other thing i noticed too um for those of you that work with color and things that are create you know creative yeah, is your lighting in the evening yeah. and so you think you're working with certain colors and you wake up the next day and you're like that looks totally different in the natural light to the point where it's not okay what you oh. did. <laughs> oh man. The walk of shame to the studio. Yes, Maria. That's what it feels oh, like. <laughs> oh. Funny. So just things you kind of learn about yourself, I guess, over time that at a certain point I have to step away. Well, and we're always changing. It's like you learn who you are and what you like, but then, you know, a decade goes by and you're still kind of holding on to those ideas of who you are and what you like, but really like some things have morphed and changed. Yeah, like, that's so true. Like just like people, you know, around you, like we're ever changing too, especially things like our eyesight. <laughs> True. That could be part of it too, right? Right. Definitely. Maybe I'll lean into more impressionist painting as I get older because <laughs> you, can't you can't quite see. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right. I finished up my necklace. I'm going to bring it back so you guys can see it. So you can see I took a few beads off on each side. I edited to let go a little bit. And I think I like it better that way. Um, just, it was felt like just a little too much. I mean, I've got enough right here in the middle, <laughs> let alone these guys. I didn't need like more sparkle back there too. So I think this worked out really well. I think I'll start working on a pair of earrings while Kristen is finishing up that beautiful bracelet that she's got going on. Thank you. I know. I'm so pretty. Sweet comments. I know. That giant crystal is very cool. It is. Oh, Maria says her project's the complete opposite of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, basically, that giant crystal is very cool. That was not in the kit. I, I deviated from my normal thing, and it was on the rainy day blues bead strand, which you can still find at the softlixcompany.com uh, shop. So grab that too. Um, oh, so many comments. How do I even grab one? As they say, Sarah, people will see you coming a mile away. <laughs> a special <laughs> I love that. I'm wondering <laughs> if I leave like space to allow the beads to kind of float around. I'm curious. Ooh. We'll take a we'll take a look here in a second. And just in case you missed it at the beginning, we're giving away five fifty dollars shopping sprees. You get entries by placing your order between now and next Tuesday, and you get entries based on how big your order is. And if you do more than one order, you get more entries. So if you do a hundred dollar order today, you get three entries, and then you put in a hundred dollar order in on Sunday, you'll get three more entries. Um, and we've done this before. I'm sure there's a few of you here who have won this, but it, like next week we pick the winners and we just put fifty dollars credit like into your account that you can go ahead and spend uh, immediately. So it's really. Mm -hmm. And it's always fun to see what you guys end up getting. Um, it's a really great gift. And then if you didn't notice, we're doing a giveaway today for one of the Rainy Day, Rainy Day Design Kits. <clears throat> you must be here at the end to win and look for the instructions at the bottom of the screen. You're going to comment hashtag Rainy Day just once and that will enter you to win. All right, Kristen. 
let's see where you're at on your design. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Just kind of playing. Let me see. I'm going to grab a bead stopper. I want to make any crazy sudden moves here. Um, and I'm just going <laughs> to. So I'm thinking, like, what if I crimped and left a little bit of space? Because that tanzanite wire just goes so mm. well. And, and then allowed the it. Just move around. And allowed the beads to have a little bit of motion, kind of like an abacus. Yeah. I, I love that. I know some bead people who would be like devastated to have their beading wire showing like that. <laughs> but I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, I think the tanzanite works so well. And it'll have a little more movement instead of being like really tight and stiff, you know, and like mm -hmm. bulky. And um, so, yeah. I don't know how many times I've gotten emails where people are like, it's just showing a little bit of beading wire by the bead at the end. How do I cover them? <laughs> I'm like, it's just a tiny little piece. Like, you don't have to cover it. You need that for like, to move around and have flexibility. But some people are really like devastated by that. <clears throat> oh, Jody's copying your design. <gasps> Yay. I feel so uh, honored, Jody. I know that's such an honor when someone's excited about your design, they want to copy it. Jody makes really pretty things too. So thanks for that. Oh, I made Cleopatra's headdress. I what? love that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to wear that to the homeschooling meetup? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. That Please would be awesome. Moms, here I come. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thankfully, people still like me, even with my big sparkly personality. Yes. <laughs> That's why people like you. Oh, maybe. Because of your big part, sparkly maybe. personality. <laughs> maybe. Ah. You're getting All lots right. of these comments. Oh, and we're never upset when people copy. In fact, we're doing this as inspiration, especially for someone who's brand new. Sometimes being able to just um, make a similar design can help them get started. And then from there, you start to learn your own, you know, methods and switch it up and make it your own sort of thing. Um, but we're always happy when you guys copy any portion of our designs have at it please yeah we do that for you guys to be able to do that we're way in you know we're totally down with that and we love when you copy the design technique and maybe just change a little yes. tiny bit of it and then it's like super exciting to see how you how you changed it and like do something that maybe we didn't think of so either way we're happy yeah, happy. 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 And we have tons of uh, free designs on our website and on our YouTube channel other than these. So if you aren't already subscribed or following us, make sure you do that um, and take a look around. There's lots of stuff to play with. And we do these kits pretty frequently at least once a month. Sometimes in addition, we'll have events where we have kits available too. Um, and we hope that they inspire and excite all of you guys. This rainy day kit is so plumb full of beads and so many crystals and sparklers. It's a really good value. We hope that you will go to the website and grab one if you didn't grab one already. Yeah, it's it's for sure chock oh. full. And I I'm like I'm I don't know. I'm crystal, I have to really be in a certain mood to get like super sparkly. Um, but I'm using a ton of these little crystals. I feel like they're the they right are. size to not be too overwhelming. That's true. I feel like that's helpful. That is true. <clears throat> I'm also wearing kind of a sparkly like bracelet and earring already too. So I do oh, find sure. that I tend to <laughs> videos all the time. <laughs> so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
so cute. Usually Kristen's earrings or her outfit match. Today she's matching by Sparkle. Yeah. And well, it's one of those things where it's like you get inspired by what's you've currently got on, or at least I do. Like it helps me kind of have a framework maybe, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. of what, what to work with because I've got like, oh, these colors look good on my shirt. So they'll look yeah. cool in this design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wore this really pretty dress to soccer practice last night. <laughs> my mom friend was like, whoa, you look so oh, nice. And I'm like, yeah. just This is like a big thing. I'm out to I'm at soccer practice. This is a big deal. Yep. This is <laughs> this is my one time out today. No, Aww. um, but it also just makes me feel better if I'm like, I like even the pandemic, I was like, I get dressed. Maybe it's from working at home for all these years, too, of just knowing, like, that feels better to, like, get dressed, have nice jewelry on, and just feel like a whole person. Um, True. Even if you're not doing much or you're not going very many places, which I'm not lately. Um, yeah, it just feels, feels nice. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go start crimping on the other side but i gotta figure out i'm making an earring over here Ooh, what you doing let me get it on an inner wire and i will show you what i got okay so let me move it over and then i'll move back to you okay okay so i did kind of a raindrop earring um, so oh, I love that. Put that together. I took some of the softlux beading wire and I got two pieces. One was longer, like that. And then one was about half that size. So go about halfway. I don't cut the wrong wire here. And then you take your bigger piece. And you get one of those two by two millimeter crimps and you pass both ends through it. Like so. And then you want to kind of match with your other earring. So you're going to bring that crimp to be about the same size as the other top. You're going to take your second piece of wire and just pass it back through the crimp tube. Um, sometimes it's easier in certain spots. So let's see if I can find that. This is like threading a needle on live. Um, yeah, that was rough. I was, I even, I was joking. I was like, you all might just hang out with me for a half hour to, uh, get this needle get this threaded. Yeah. <laughs> I would be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, we have such good um, viewers, though. I'm sure they were so gracious and kind. Okay, I center my crimp tube and then go ahead and crimp. And go around that whole crimp, tightening it all down. And then we can just um, trim off that little top piece. Just get in really nice and close and trim. And then that gives you your three pieces of wire. And then I'll do just one of these. So you take your bead and then you get another crimp and grab a crystal. And then you string that wire back up into the crimp tube. And you don't have to match the other earring perfectly. But yeah, you know, I would eye it out. Like you want to have kind of a similar, similar situation, right? So straighten that out. Is this gonna make sense next to this other ear? Looks pretty good. So then I'll just come in here, straighten my wires out as best as I can. Make sure my crystal can move freely inside that little 
space there and feels good. And then come in and crimp. Will you be uh, doing a free spirit meeting next Monday, Kristen? On Monday, yes. But the following Monday, no. Because I oh, will not okay. be leaving till Wednesday. Okay. So I did plan to do one on Monday. Um, I mean, you just do that two more times at different lengths. And then you've got this cute little raindrop earring which is also super sparkly. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Sparkle day. <laughs> it is sparkle day. <laughs> and I, you know, while you were doing that, I was thinking, and we were talking a little bit about- That's kind of on your game board. Oh, okay. I'm just <clears throat> printing. Um, while you were making that earring, it reminded me of something somebody might wear to prom. And Ooh. I just, I was thinking about um, how at Hudson's High School, they are having like a little bring jewelry or dresses or things yeah. like that. So that, yeah. you know, people that need it can. We can did pick that at our up. library. And I thought oh, about so nice. down there. And I didn't get around to it because of my personal situation with my husband. But one of these years, I think that's a great place to go take some sparkly jewelry. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do that. I meant to do it like last week or so. Their prom is in May. Um, mm. So if you guys live near a high school or something or even a community college, because they do like a, um, at my other son's community college, they have like a career center where they take mm -hmm like clothing and stuff that people can then use to go on interviews and stuff. And um, oh, I love that. So if you're just looking for a place to kind of bring some things and give back and that mm -hmm. might be a nice idea to go check out the high school or the community <clears throat> college if you're near one. Yeah, they also have that dress for success program. Oh yeah. yeah. You've talked about that yeah. before. Yeah. But that's, that's a nice way to help out too. Are they all over the country? Are they something like that? I thought I think so. But I don't know for sure. Because now that I'm cleaning my studio, I just like feel like I want to clean up a whole bunch of things. I know. <laughs> I Once like, I started in my garage, I was like, ooh, what else can I get rid of in this house? <laughs> I'm doing a big cleanup in the kids' room. <clears throat> when my best friend comes to visit next month, Erin's coming. Oh, how nice. Her into <laughs> cleaning out, cleaning out the kids' room. Cleaning out their room. Yeah. Because I usually do that like fairly regularly, but there, you know, I haven't been able to. And then they get clothes constantly, like from our neighbors, and which mm. is very kind of our neighbors, but also really hard because it's overfilling their drawers and they can't like even see what they have anymore you know right yeah well they end up wearing like the same thing like every day even though they have all these clothes because they can't even see because it's like what's on top <laughs> yeah. yeah that was just washed that's on top i can see it i'm gonna grab it uh-huh <laughs> pretty much yep so he's going to clean it out. And then we have Jack's finally going to get like a big boy bed. Um, oh, that's so exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. Is he excited about it or does he not know yet? Um, He knows. He is excited to have the space, but not so excited about having to sleep in it by himself. But mm -hmm. it'll be okay. It's time. Yeah. He's had an extended time sleeping with me because of everything happening. And he's ready for a big boy bed. Oh, it looks like uh, Zach just said that she got a video notification for Becky. And then Nancy said she loves her videos. And I agree. Becky does some really fantastic videos. I love everything Becky makes. So awesome. Go make sure to check her out. Subscribe. 
so many of our friends that hang with us also have their own YouTube channels. So I know it's pretty cool. It's really fun to see what everybody's making. And especially when you guys grab the kits and you make with the kits and show your how to's like I find them so inspiring and fun. And then the people out there can just go get the kit really easily. So if they want to make that same thing or something similar, it's easy to do. I think I'm trying to decide if this last one is on here correctly or not. Mm. Like, do I have to pull it tighter or is it okay? Let's you can see. Try it on your wrist. I'll just do a little of this. I think mm. it's okay. The nice thing about doing that smooth, like letting the beads sort of move around is it doesn't have to be like so perfect. Right. You know? I'm purposefully giving myself a little bit of wiggle room. <laughs> yes. And then I'll have to figure out the clasp situation. We do have a lobster claw in the kit, but I'll probably need a little jump ring or something to go along with Melissa that. has a few new videos coming out in just a few minutes on her YouTube channel. Rosanna did her unboxing, but now she needs to make a design. It's exciting. Ooh. Dana says it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, so we just have to add a little clasp and connection at the oh, end, yeah. but I think it ended up so pretty. being super pretty. And let's see if we can see how the clouds... Look, I love that I you used a lot of different beads than I did. Yeah. You know, know like isn't that, that fun how so that happens? different from what I made. I mean, it, they could go together, well, but they really aren't the same beads. <laughs> it's really hard to grab these two. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking this is like uh, threading a needle on live TV again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah! So, so I think it'll be my wrist. I'll probably grab some chain or something and make a little connection there so that I can um, make sure to have it be the right size. It ended up being a little bit smaller than I anticipated. I mean, you are the jump ring queen, so I'm sure you could find or some craft wire or What's you can do like a bead. You could do like twist a it as a connector. Ooh, that's pretty. You, you can kind of twist it too, especially, I like that. So that if I connect it and make it a little twisted before I connect mm -hmm. it, oh, that's cool. That's you cool. could do a bead on one side and then use the lobster clasp to connect on the other side. And then also have a little charm, a little cloud charm hanging from there. I love those charms. Or a little, a little maybe both of them, I don't know. Cute. Cute. <laughs> Yeah, that's adorable. Yeah. Oh, this was a beautiful kit. I know. So You're grab it if you have it. Lots of good feedback in the comments. Everyone's pretty excited about it. I mean, how do you go wrong with like these purples and blues and then just little pops of green? I've got these little green beads <laughs> in there. <laughs> They they actually <laughs> let me go grab my earring I made. Pops of green. Look at this! It matches oh, the earring. <laughs> what? Do you even need? Sorry, to not sorry. Earring? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it at the time, but yeah, it just was like, oh wait a minute, that'll match perfectly with what we made on Monday. <laughs> yeah, pull those earrings that you did on Monday one more time. If you sure. miss this design, you can go back on the Softbox Company YouTube channel and watch it anytime. Um, if you're if you loved all of the designs today, please click that like button, click the heart button, click the thumbs up. Let us know that you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and family. I'm gonna do the giveaway now. Awesome. Um, if everybody's ready, I'm going to just um, flash this one more time to remind you. Shopping spree at SoftBooksCompany.com. We have three kits available right now. We've got Tree of Life, our new exotic blooms, 
Oh, four kits. We've got the rainy day and we've got a few of the specialty left. So you can get any of those right now. If you love a kit to get inspired, now is the time to do it. And then you can get entered to win a fun little shopping spree. And Joyful Beating is still going uh, strong in the VIB group. I've loved seeing all the beautiful things that you guys are creating. And you can also win a store credit um, by being part of Joyful Beating. Look for this same calendar in the Softflex uh, VIB, VIB group on Facebook. And it kind of explains all of the details. But you can see Kristen did March 27th today make a multi-strand bracelet tomorrow create with the rainy day kit so if you have that rainy day kit make sure you post your designs into the group tomorrow um, so you can get entered for not only this but also our monthly challenge that we always do in the group um, you get entered into two contests that way and then march 29th create with a favorite color of soft flex Yay. okay here we go I am going to go to the giveaway. I just Last started. Year. Dana's asking if I did a second earring. I just started. So Ooh. it'll happen. <laughs> um, look at that. We've got 90 entries today, Kristen. Yay! 90 entries. Any last minute entries? I see there's more than 90 people here. You're going to comment hash tag rainy day and it will count you um toward winning a rainy day design kit if you are our winner make sure you let us know in the comments right away that you're here because you must be here to win here i go and um you're going to email info at softflexcompany.com to claim your prize let them know you won a rainy day design kit also oh julie, julie. Oh my I'm gosh, our friend Julie. Julie. <laughs> Julie, Julie, Julie on Facebook. Um, we know Julie. She lives in Arizona. So she does. Congratulations, Julie. Um, uh, make sure you let us know that you're here and we'll send you a rainy day design kit on us. I think I just saw her. Oh, I just saw her say woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and email info at softlexcompany.com and let them know you won that rainy day design kit. Make sure you include your current shipping address and they will get that shipped out to you uh, shortly. I know it's Easter weekend, you guys. I can't believe it. It just snuck right up on me. Um, but I am prepared. The kids yeah. are really good at reminding me when it comes to like, things like these holidays. I know I've been telling myself for like a week and a half now, I should probably decorate for Easter. And I'm now having it at my house. I was supposed to be going to oh. Bert's mom's, but I'm having it here. So yeah, I should probably decorate for Easter. You should probably <laughs> decorate. It'll be like Saturday. I did, minimal, I did minimal decorations yesterday. Chat goes, um, why isn't it more decorated for Easter? <laughs> Like, what is going on around here? <laughs> uh, the Easter Bunny is a very busy lady, yeah. so we didn't have time to decorate. Um, we have a few decorations up, but we will have a fun weekend. The kids are going to an egg hunt. Yay. Um, we'll, of course, do an egg hunt here. They have Easter baskets. We have. Um, I, I ordered dinner this year again, like I did for Christmas. Nice. Yeah, I just it's too hard to like mm -hmm. do everything anymore. Um, so that'll be nice. And yeah, yeah. it's going to be nice. I'm excited. Awesome. Well, have a great weekend and thanks to everyone uh, for joining us. I hope you all have a great weekend too. Yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, we will not be doing a live sale tomorrow, but we will be doing it a week from tomorrow. Get registered now. So you're ready to go a uh, week from Thursday. And then uh, and make sure you're on our e-newsletter list because that's the best place to find the instructions for how to get registered. Did you guys do a page yet on the website, Kristen? Mm, I haven't. No. I yeah. don't know if Thomas so is some putting... Point we'll do a blog or a page that will yeah. have a lot of instructions on it, but we're still working on it because it's all new to us. So. Yeah. Um, for now, being in the e-newsletter is like the best thing to get 
the best, cl clearest new news that we have. Um, and then Friday, Joyce will be uh, doing Spill the Beads Friday morning. Kristen, uh, Free Spirit Beating next Monday. Mm -hmm. And next the full week, we've got Kristen, we've got me on Wednesday uh, with a guest. And then Thursday, we'll have a live sale. And Friday, we'll have Joyce. So it's going to be a busy week next week. I hope you guys will tune in and hang out with each one of us as we go live. Um, thank you for being here today. I hope that you'll go shop these kits. We've got some really beautiful kits in the shop right now. They're a great way to pack in the inspiration. They make a fantastic gift. So if you've got someone in your life that is just having like a creative uh, blockage and they need something to do that's maybe a little different, send them a pair of crimping pliers and cutters and any one of these kits. And I promise you they will be thanking you because it'll be a yeah. lot of fun for them to open it up so and fun. have something to make with that'll kind of get everything moving again. Yeah. Super cute too. If you've got kids or grandkids and you want to have something like kind of in your back pocket to pull out when you, the boredom mm -hmm. strikes and you need something creative and fun to do um, because it yeah. looks like a little gift and you can open it up together and do it. And mm -hmm. it's pretty fun. Or so, Zoom. If they're far away. Send it to yeah. them and do it over Zoom. Um, I see a lot of people are posting that they will have their unboxing videos up soon on YouTube. Look for those like Rosanna uh, Melissa usually does one, possibly Becky, uh, but watch for some unboxings of the same kit and then what everybody else is making with it and make sure you post your designs into the Softbox BIB group to be uh, entered to win a, a kit and we'll announce the winner uh, toward the end of next month. Yeah. Right. Oh my goodness. So many fun kits. I love our newest one too is called Exotic Bloom. So be sure Beautiful. to not uh, sleep on that one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. We'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for tuning in. We always love spending time with you, sending love to each of you. Bye, Bye. everybody.